Hello everyone and welcome to Wally Mods. This is my first video in my Factorio modding series where we'll be going over the Factorio given API for mod creators who would like to add their own things to the game. In this series we'll be covering these topics right here. So basic mod structure which is how it should look in the file system. You could add custom in-game commands. So for example you could open up the console menu and type in your own command. It could be, I don't know, give players item and then you give this will give all players the item that you type in so it could be heavy armor and instantly every single player has a heavy armor in their inventory ready to go next we'll go into modifying pre-made items in the game and how to make your own items based off of those old ones that are predefined and then we'll go into configuration settings for your mod so that the user and and or player can change up the mod a little bit before they load their game. <clears throat> we'll also be covering custom technologies, locale files, basic GUI, campaigns, scenarios, yada yada yada. Another thing I'll be showing you is exactly where online you can look for more functions related to the ones that I'm showing on screen and where you can find the documentation on those that I'm using. I think that if you are serious about modding it is imperative to use the documentation as much as you can because that's how you find out which functions you can use. This is especially true whenever there's a pre-made API like Factorio has. Basically an API is an application programming interface where one set of developers can give another set of developers a way to communicate with their technologies in a simpler and easier manner. I will also be uploading all of my code and notes to GitHub so that you guys can read it get ideas, and just double check on your own code without having to click through the video. On the lower levels, the Factorio developers use C++, but on the higher level, where we will be, developers chose to use Lua. Lua is great for these types of situations where you have a division between the higher level and the lower level, and it can easily embed itself within other programs. Now, I do recommend that you have some programming experience prior to watching this video series. I will be explaining how the interface works for mod creation specifically, but I might not be going into every little detail on the syntax of Lua. You can find that online in the documentation. It's just outside of the scope of this course. I think that's everything I want to cover. I'll see you in the next video on covering the basic mod structure.